William Hunt Savile Row, the perfect gentleman's playground in London, Manchester, Glasgow and Harrogate. How to play the Trilby Tour, rule number 61. Do not think that because you cannot see a camera ahead of you, there isn't one behind you. All of your shots, no matter how bad, come under scrutiny. Another sunny return to the flowery surroundings of Godet Luce for the Championship of Worcestershire. As well as the profusion of plants, Godet Luce always provides plenty of smiles as it's arguably the friendliest host club on the Trilby Tour. In this show, we'll feature the best play of the day, our four-man three-hole playoff, and we'll put aside the day's worst play for use in Rogue's Gallery. Right now, let's hand over to the man with flowers in his hair, our commentator, Rob Lee. Thanks, Mac. Yes, it's the Trilby Tour's third visit to Gordet Loose, and still no one can decide, is it Gordet or Gorday? We'll have a bit of fun with that as we go through the show. It's been a pretty good day. It's nice and sunny, perfect for the Trilby Tour. Let's get to William on the first. Simon, early start today? Yeah, a little, little bit early, but okay. we uh, we came down early, uh, late last night, and okay. uh, um, got a hotel. So you got a feel of the place? You, yeah, you know I like it. On? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I've been on the putting green. Okay. Greens are really fast. I good like man, that. Good man. Yeah, this good. is your fourth time out the Trilby Tour, mm -hmm. and you've, you've played at Bredsel. Played Bredsel. Tough track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, but I was uh, I had a really bad back uh, that year. And, and that was not a beware of the injured golfer day. It, no, it wasn't. No, I ended no. up having an uh, operation on my back. So yeah. No, yeah. it does not work. Excuses yeah. don't come better than that. How, how do you think you're going to fare today? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I like this setup. I, yeah. li I like this course. Uh, it looks good. I love the greens. The greens look fantastic. I mean, yeah. I've, had, I've been on the putting green. It's uh, yeah. exactly my speed. I like the speed of the greens. So, I'm yeah. put you on a spot prediction. Um, I'd love to say 36. I'm going to go 37, maybe 38. Oh, mm. you heard it for you. <laughs> Play well. Thank you very much. Cheers. Well, Simon, how low can you go? Playing off of seven, Branson Golf Club. First hole goes down, second hole comes back. Par 70, got it loose, just over 6,000 yards. And that's a very nice swish from the first. Very well played, full of confidence. Owen, unlucky 13 for some handicap today. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah, well, well is, it, is it an omen, the 13? Uh, we we'll find out today, it's my first time. Yeah. So the nerves are, it's quite a few people here, a lot more than I thought it was going to be, yeah. so I'm nervous. I was going to ask you about the nerves. Will you use them as a, as a positive force or...? I'll try. It all depends on that first tee oh, shot. Or will it destroy yeah. you? It might destroy me. I've been known for that. Yeah. Nerves get the better of me, but let's okay. see how the first tee shot You've goes. You've got four and a half hours out there. Can You must be able to steady them at some point. Yeah, yeah. I played, played a practice round yesterday and yeah. played really well. Okay. That's a worry. What did you thing. bring in? Uh, we only played nine holes. All right. I've got 18 points oh. paying off the trophy handicap, so... Yeah. See how it goes. Okay. And what's the strength of your game? Uh, short game, chipping and putting. That's where the scoring's done. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you get guys coming in and go, oh, I'm brilliant at driving. That's a layup, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, so with chipping and, and putting. Yeah. Definitely. So give us a prediction. I'll be happy with 33. Well, he's such a youngster. Young face, Owen Bond. Is he a millennial? Is he an alpha? Post 96. I know he's grumpy with that one, though. No real reason to be. Just stay out of the sand, stay all right. I think that's okay. Craig, second time at Gorday. Yep. And uh, we saw you last year. How'd you go on? Yeah, um, not brilliant. The weather was absolutely scorching. Mm. The greens were super fast mm. and uh, enjoyed the day, but I was a bit of a sort of virgin to it. So, but no, great, great time. So Hence today, back this year. So today, the weather's absolutely scorching. The greens are super fast. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you bring us something different? I think I can, yeah. I had a bit of a, a sneaky practice round on Sunday yeah, night and yeah. uh, and played really well. I'm not going to reveal what I scored. Go on. 40 points. Whoa! Um, played really, really well, but I yeah. uh, just hope I haven't uh, sort of played all my game on Sunday night. Not can you do 40 today. points today? Can you bring I'm it I'm hoping again? so. I'm yeah. hoping I can do that today, yeah. 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 In all the years I've been doing this, I, I hear it all the time, my practice round, my practice round. I shot 38, 37, points. Yeah, 42. I've heard it myself today. I yeah. never, ever hear it repeated. Yeah, well, fingers crossed today. It's, it's, it's my day, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Right, look at T. High, let it fly with the driver, Craig Barry. Craig smashing it. 
Looks good. Well, he's found the fairway. That's the most important thing. Look of satisfaction. Playing a handicap of eight today. Eight today. They don't give them yeah. away for free, so you're a good player. Uh, yeah, been a good form recently. Actually, yeah. won our club championships at the wow. weekend. So I uh, was chuffed about that. Yeah, really chuffed. So, How do you uh, feel about being able to keep that form going? Because it, is it, you know, as amateurs, sometimes we, we peak and trough quite a lot, don't we? Absolutely. So I've got a little bit of a game plan for today. So okay. drivers not in the not in the bag. So okay. I'm just going to hit rescue off every club, try and get the ball in play. And, really? Uh, You're going to yeah, go rescue everything? So rescue every, you you obviously know the course well then, you've been around. No, I haven't been, literally. I, I feel like I played here probably in a scratch match a long time ago, but apart from that. So, uh, no, so, just see how it is and uh, go from there. So you have a game plan. Got you've a game not plan. been around the course. Where have you got this game plan from then? Because uh, it's, it what I did, it's what I did at the weekend. So okay. I, did, I didn't hit driver at all around Druids at the weekend. So just did my rescues and uh, it paid off. So uh, let's carry that one forward. It's pretty disciplined to play within then, isn't it? You yeah. know, to, to go off at, go out driving well, on and off every... A bad driver is a lost ball, so uh, yeah, you know, that makes up a lot of shots. Well, surely the blood must get pumped. I mean, look at that fairway, it's wide open. It's a good slam down the middle, surely. Fairways and greens. Whoa, that's, where I see it, that's so. good discipline. Yeah. I'm going to be watching you. Play Excited, well. looking forward to it. Neil Scheinbaum. A lot of angles there in that posture. Back and through and kept himself over it pretty nicely. And the club twizzle. And that's it. That's the worst part of the day finished with. You got it off the first tee. You got it in the air. Life is good. Danny, we saw you at Preston last year. Yep. Uh, tough conditions. Yeah, very. Went the day before. It was yeah. lovely. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Hurricane Albert, or I think oh whatever God, it was, yeah. uh, blew coming on the uh, on the actual competition day. I think that's uh, the nearest. Scoreboard went over and everything. So. I think that's the nearest we've ever been to, to, to postponing it. Yeah, yeah to it calling was, it off. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. It was really enjoyable, our first one, hence that's why I'm back. It's funny, isn't it, when, when the adverse conditions come like that, how everyone just gets stuck in and, and yeah. just kind of huddles together and gets through the day. Well, that's it, you've got to enjoy it. You, you've, yeah. you've paid your money and yeah. it's, it's, it's a great experience, so yeah. you might, you've got to enjoy it while you're there, haven't you? And it's you, obviously, you obviously did, that's why you're back this year. Yeah. Yeah. Slightly different conditions that we had at Preston. Yeah. It looks looks perfect. I've never played this course before. Ever? So no, and ever. You're a four handicap. Yeah. It's not very so wise, is it? It's not, no. Work commitments the week Are before. Are you good enough to so get it round and, and bring something in? We don't know. I've been hitting it well, but I don't like to speak too soon. Four handicap's a good achievement. It's, yeah, it's good. Know, it's good for how long they don't hand them playing, out all so. over the place, do they? No, no, no. no it's hard. So, I would ask you a prediction, but you know nothing about this course. I don't know. I, I said I'll take 35 points now, I think. Iron off the tee. Looking rather professional. Daniel Ludgate. Yes, like that. Well, he's a four handicap, which means he can play pretty well. Scampering down the fairway for Danny. Two halves of 35 at Gordet, Gaudet, Gordet, Loose. Par three, the tenth. Nice way to start, 160 yards. Couple of par fives towards the end of the round. That'll help your card. That one just about making the journey, scraping onto the edge of the green. Simon Lowe, Branson Golf Club, Burton on Trent. Sends that one high into the sky. Lovely looking day and a lovely looking golf shot. Tried to back up a little bit further away than that, but excellent, really good. 15 points so far for Craig Barry, playing from the ideal spot. Stay, 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 stay. Yeah, that's all right. It's not in the bunker. Plenty of green. Chances. Somewhere behind that hedge is Scheinbaum playing the course blind. Sixth hole. 151 yards. Ball stays up in the air forever until it hits the deck. The funny thing is, if you land it short, you kick on. You pitch on the green, it stops. That's quite a difficult pitch back to the pin from an upslope. Almost finished, 28 points for Danny Ludgate. Has to finish nicely to have a chance of making it. Well, that's a good start. That's into the centre of the green. Maybe make a putt. We saw Owen Bond's tee shot at 10 start the back nine on the front edge of the par three. So putting, sensible choice. Right to left, down the hill. All in all, not too bad. Barry's third. Slightly Aaron with the second. Look at the strike marks on his wedge. Telltale signs of hours and hours of practice around the chipping green. Maybe not. So he thinks about the putt he's got to make to save par. Bond's par part of the 10th. 16 points. 
And, oh, that's so unlucky. Straight back at you. And it's 29 points in the end for Owen. Despite his youth, not good enough to qualify for this year's final. Lowe's third at the fifth. This is the birdie putt. We saw the approach shot, which was excellent. Right to left. Hit it. No, oh, that can't happen. That can't happen. That is ridiculous. I need to see that again. Never seen that before. 37 points, despite the hideous bad luck. Well, I'm having to recover mentally from that myself. That's unreal. Mind you, Trilby Tour every week, you do see unreal things. Things you'll never see on a golf course. Craig Barry, 18 handicap, and it's 29 points in the end. Not quite good enough. Scheinbaum. I went right through the green with a huge kick from short of the green to over the green, back up the green. Birdie two. This is for a birdie two. A birdie two. Oh, it's an amazing chip. So that's a really good part. 35 points. Currently in a playoff position, Neil Scheinbaum, but an early finisher. There's a lot of players to come in. Danny Luggate. Close to home. We saw the tee shot at 16. What about the putt? Robbed. 35 points. That's also playing off. Not too many scores in the red, that's for sure. This is no pushover. Let's get back to William. He's got the reigning Trilby Tour world champion with him. I'm here in the privileged, the exalted company of the Trilby Tour world champion. How did that feel last year? Um, still, I can't get it over me that I actually won it last year. Um, it was ecstatic when I won it. Um, and. I don't think I'll ever feel anything in golf like that again as an, as an amateur player. Let's bring it back a little bit. You won here as well, and, and because you're the, the, the reigning champion, a defending champion, yeah. here at Gordon Luce. Yeah, uh, you started here. I struggled for the first couple of times I played last year. Mm -hmm. Come here with my last chance. You were on a mission last year, though, weren't you? You really were on a mission. You could see the way you were playing. Yeah, I just I really wanted to try and break my duck because I've made a few playoffs before yeah, yeah. To, to win one, yeah. and then obviously going to the final yeah. with a bit of confidence to try and win it. All that experience of, the, of those playoffs, it helped, didn't it? Oh, it did in the end, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you've been a popular champion here. Everyone was pleased that you've won. Um, the feeling of that? It's nice to come to here today and yeah. everyone seems to say hello and who I don't even know and yeah, it's just it's yeah. nice to be around people um, appreciate obviously what I did last year mm. and um, and it's comfortable to come and play here and it's a great golf course. So you lifted the, the glass trophy here and then went on to the world final hole and lifted the big silver chalice. Yeah, well, let's hope we can do it again. You're a two-time defending champion this year. Yeah. Can you defend today? Yes, I think I can, yeah. yeah. Playing I my love. I spoke to Simon uh, Gardner earlier. And he was gutted when he handed over that rose ball to you. He's saying, I want it back off him today. What have you got, what have you got a message for him? Uh, he's going to have to play well to beat me today. Well, once a world champion, always a world champion. Deacon, to be respected. Iron off the tee. Oh, and a nice little bit of lag as he started his downswing. He's worried. He's a little worried. A man to fear, no doubt about that, in a Trilby Tour. Well, when we come back after the break, we'll find out if anyone can get past 35 points. That's in a couple of minutes. The 12th hole here at Gordit Loose is a legendary tricky one. During the break, consider how you think Mark Billington handled his tee shot and have a guess at what happened next. William Hunt Savile Row, the perfect gentleman's playground in London, Manchester, Glasgow, and Harrogate. Before the break, we asked you to have a guess at how Mark Billington fared with his tee shot on the 12th. Well, if you guessed that he hit it long and left and aimed it to run under the marshal's table before lodging itself under a buggy, award yourself 10 points. Over to you, Rob. Welcome back to the Trilby Tour 2019 Championship of Worcestershire. Very good golfing day. Golf course in excellent condition, but nobody taking it apart. Only one man in the red. That's Simon Lowe. Next best is 35, and they're starting to stack up on that total. That could be the playoff score. Into the back nine now, halfway through it. Deakin second to 14, the par four. What can the world champion do from here? That's more than acceptable. Good one. Hole high. That's fine. All the way back to the start of the golf course. Third tee. For Daniel Amos. 
Plays off of 13. Tewkesbury. Now the third hole's just 309 yards. The long hitters can get there, or very close. That's what it looks like from the green back to the tee. As we lurch all the way forward to the 16th. And Jason Murch. Now the 16th hole being the last par 3 in the golf course. 145 yards. It finishes par 5, par 3, par 5, par 4. So you have a few chances if it's not been going quite so well. Deakin just about to hit that stretch. This is the birdie putt at 14. Had a go. Had a right crack at that. Daniel Amos just pitching sideways towards the green after a long tee shot. Hoisting this one miles up in the air. That's not bad. Couldn't see too much from down there. Just about to see the top of the flag. Fifth hole, 317 yards again. Not long. Tricky though. And using a little bit of nous. That was Philip Piercy. Orchard Lee Golf Club. That sounds nice and countrified, doesn't it? Orchard Lee. Visions of apples and scrumpy. That part of the country. Simon Deakin, world champion. End of this particular Trilby Tour adventure. Massive birdie putt at the third. Daniel Amos. Got the flag out. Most people putt with the flag in now. Daniel's old school. That one started to roll back as well. 35 points. He's in the waiting room. With a lot of people. Down the hill. Merch with 27 points so far. Three holes to go. And a par five. He's in the shake-up. That's unlucky. Good try. 34 points. That is clinging on. Clinging on to a, a top four spot. It's a big ask though. Two over par points wise. What have the other Trilby Turians got to say about that? This is Piercy. Philip to be precise. And 35 points for Philip Piercy. He's got chances of a playoff spot. Let's join William who's going to talk us through the three playoff holes later on to find out who's going to be the champion of Worcestershire. Thanks, Rob. I'm here on the first, well, almost the fairway, uh, with Alex of Gordet Luce. You are the main man here, and you're going to tell us about the, the hole and what we can expect to, to find out there, because this first hole looks pretty straightforward to me. It's a pretty simple hole, to be fair, as long as you avoid the out of bounds on the right mm -hmm. and the trees on the left. Feels like it's getting narrower already. Oh, well, yeah, 20 years ago it was great. You used to be able to get a free drop out of there, but now you're coming out sideways if you're going in. No there. time machines on the Trilby Tour, so you've got to play it as well, it is. Well, absolutely. So yeah. you're coming out sideways, losing your shot straight away. Now, we saw it in, in play today. You start on that first tee, it doesn't look too difficult, right down the middle, on wedge maybe 9 iron onto the green, but a lot of guys are going right and, they, and, and they're worried about that and tugging it left. So. It's a pretty tough hole, isn't it? It is. Well, I suppose it's simple if you're playing it well. In the head. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all in there. That, that yeah. OB down the right pushes everyone to the left. There's a nice bank there that kicks you towards the right as well if you land on top of it. I noticed the T sends you a little bit left as well, doesn't it? It does. Um, some say it was purposely built like that. But <laughs> Who's who am I to that? say? Who yeah, am I to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. But, but equally, the, the, the thing to miss down the right as well is that, bank, that bunker that sat there. So waiting to looking, gobble you up. Beautiful looking par, par four. Uh, tricky little bunker down there to gobble you up. Going on to the next hole, the par three, the 12th. So we're playing the first, the 12th and the 18th. But the, we've seen over the years now, last couple of years, that, that par three is a nasty little bite you, doesn't it? That, and it sort of drags you into that spinny, doesn't it? Ah, it does. Again, it's all on the right, you see. Yeah. All the troubles are the right there. You've got a nice bit of water there. You get over the water, you've got another bunker there. Yeah. And you've got those big trees at the right-hand side as well. Each year, though, we've seen guys go into that trouble on, on the right down there or go long. See, many, many times now, even Simon Deakin last year, who, who eventually won, went long and he had a horrible shot back, which probably won in the game because he, he acquitted himself well on that shot. But uh, what is it about that hole that that's confuses the players? Uh, again, it's just trouble on the right-hand side, but if you don't know the hole and you go mm. left, you've got hillocks there mm. and, the, and the entire hole, the green slopes all the way to the right. So any shot, if you're playing in from the left, it's going to be downhill the whole way to the hole. So basically a nasty little hole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Now, coming up to 18th, again, pretty straightforward, downhill, just send your way to the right, isn't it, so you can miss the green. You'd be tempted to have, a, the big lads are going to be tempted to have a go at this, aren't they? 
it, it's drivable, yeah. that's for sure, but yeah. as, as with any risk and reward hole, it can get you into trouble. It's well protected, isn't it? It is. Yeah, again, you've got water on the right-hand yeah. side, yeah. out of bounds all the way down the left yeah. there, yeah. and there's some very nasty little bunkers sat Whispering around the green. Oh, they do, they, aren't they? Yeah. Especially so, the hidden one. The other thing as well, it's, it's because it's downhill, it's so easy to overshoot, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. You, you're playing that second shot, you're likely to be slightly downhill, and it's a really narrow green, so depth-wise, there's not a lot going on. It's quite wide in terms of... Uh, it looks friendly, but it's not, is it? It's a lot of it going on there, isn't it? A lot going on that green. It's, it's two tiers, so yeah. left and right are both yeah. high, and it drips down into that valley there. So if you can get the ball somewhere around the edge of yeah. those high pieces, it's yeah. gonna roll towards the hole. Otherwise, if you're long, you're in trouble. You are. And the spectators. <laughs> so there you go, Rob. All the delights of the lovely three playoff holes here at the very friendly Gorday Leaf. Thanks, William. I think in a particularly bubbly mood today, William Hunt. Back into the front nine and the sixth. Daniel Nash, Hailing Island. Quite a trip from there to Worcestershire. It does kick forward, not too firmly now. Stay, stay, stay. Yeah, that's pretty good. A lot of people missing that green. 14th hole is a par 4 before you get to the run of par 5s. Still lengthy though, 14th. 422 yards. For most Trilby Turians, that's a par 5. So green side in 2, and that's what he's got left. Still a lot of players out in the golf course. James Howell, who plays off of 11. Brickhampton Court Golf Club in Gloucester. Good name that, isn't it? Brickhampton. That's what happens on the Trilby Tour. People bricking it. Places to get nervous. Trilby Tour will be one of them. Nash back up the hill for the two. That was trying to claw its way towards the hole. That'd be good enough for a par three and a couple of points. Par save for Hud. Well, he's got to get it up and down from here. And he might do. That putt's got a bit of left to right on it. Now, there is a really good view of the putt that Hal's got for his birdie at the third hole. He read it as a left to righter. It was a good read. More speed, it would have been close. 35 points for James Hal. That looks like it's going to get a slice of the playoff. There are so many players on it. 30 points so far. Murphy hits the 16th tee. 145 yards, that's all it is. Just a little tap. Richard Murphy. Green runs away from the players, so mindful of that. Nash with a really good start. This to keep it all going, which he's done. In the end, 35 points. Guess what? Daniel Nash joined the club. Playoff looming. You fancy. Haven't had all the scores yet. Hud for the part. Be a really good save. And he's done it. That's a great up and down. 35 points, Steve Hud. What a finish. That putt was absolutely crucial. One after one, they're coming in. It seems to be 35 points is the number. Murphy. Level par with 30 points at this stage. Not anymore. Take that. Fist pump, 37 points. Richard Murphy, joint best. And it's the biggest ever chip out. In fact, it's a bunker shot to decide two from seven between Ludgate, Hud, Howell, Scheinbaum, Nash. Keep them coming. Amos, one more. Piercy. And with only two to qualify from all those seven, the bunker shot had to be good. That was the best of them. It was just brilliant. That's what it was. So confirmation of the players that made it and didn't. Steve Hudd qualifies for the World Championship final alongside James Howell, Neil Scheinbaum, Daniel Nash, and Daniel Amos. So confirmation of the four that made it through to the playoff for the championship of Worcestershire. Simon Lowe, Richard Murphy, Danny Ludgate, Philip Piercy, Amos Howell, Hud, Nash Scheinbaum and Merch make it through to the World Championship final. Chatting away, pretending they're friends, but really it's dog eat dog because one of them is going to be a champion and the other three are going to be losers. We'll find out what happens when we come back after the break.
William Hunt Savile Row, the perfect gentleman's playground in London, Manchester, Glasgow and Harrogate. Welcome back. We're through to the playoff to find out this year's champion of Worcestershire. We're at Gord at Loose Golf Club, and those are the four gentlemen, fine gentlemen that they are, that will be going toe to toe before they find out amongst themselves who will be the top dog. William's got a panel with him on the first. Thanks, Rob. I'm here on the first of the playoff holes with Alec, who is the master of the course, and our champion, indeed world champion, Simon, who's been here before. Haven't you? Yes. So tell us. I mean, this hole doesn't look too difficult to me. From it's a knock straight down the middle, but it seems to catch people out. No, it does. It's those trees on the left. They drag you in. Are they you... creeping over? Well, they are slightly, but they pull you away from the OB down the right. And they, but this this fairway this this tee sends us a little bit down the right, doesn't it? It does. It does. Yeah. It's only fair to push people that way because those trees are going to pull you the other. Okay, now, Simon. You've been here before, not once but twice. You've done a few playoffs, but last year was your year, wasn't it? Yeah. You stood here last year, what, mouth dry, knees knocking? Listen, my mouth dry, knees knocking every time I come here, but <laughs> now, them guys now, they are feeling the heat. You know, they're going to struggle to put the ball on the tee. There's crowds on top of them now. Every shot they play, mm. they're going to, the camera, they know the camera's on them. We have three pars and a, and a bogey. Richard bogeyed this hole. Will that be playing his mind at all? Uh, it's, I think the, the whole hole's going to be playing everybody's mind. It doesn't matter what they shot earlier. Yeah. You know, they just can't try not Really? That's it? It's, I think, it's out yeah, of mind. It's gone. Okay. That's gone now. This is the okay. first hole of the playoff. Prediction. Who's going to win? I'm going to go with Richard. Philip. I'll go with Simon Lowe. Back to you, Rob. Cheers, William. If ever I saw three men just put their hand in the bowl and pull out a piece of paper, it's those three. Absolutely without a clue who's going to win this. Neither have the four players that are walking onto the tee right now. Their moment of truth is just about to start. All colour-coded, as you can see. I want a blue one. And this is where the nerves come in. Ladies and gentlemen, first to play, Simon Lowe. Hi, Simon Lowe, aged 47, handicap of seven. Uh, my current club is uh, Branston Golf and Country Club in Burton on Trent. I had a great day, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, really good. A couple of little wobbles, but uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Great course. I really enjoyed the greens. Greens are very, very smooth, um, quick, and yeah, I like that. It's good. No, it's it's great. Um, it's a great thing. I mean, I've got my uh, my partner Joe on the bag for me. She's uh, caddying for me, rooting for me. So yeah, it's great. Driver for low at the first. Start well, finish well, with a nice bit in the middle. Beautiful, the seven handicapper, Flushingtons. That's how you scamper one down the first. Those velvet green fairways, actually that's just in a rough, but it's fine. Richard Murphy, 43, Drayton Park Golf Club, handicapper three. Hard, uh, tough, very warm, enjoyed the golf, didn't put particularly well, but played good. Uh, hit the ball well off the tee, my iron play and recovery shots were good. Uh, other than that, um, I didn't put myself in a lot of trouble. Uh, I went three, put the first. Uh, 12 and 18, just do what I did. Hit green and uh, knock it in. Happy days. Plenty of room down there. It's not long, only 381 yards. Now that's hooking a little bit. Had the old right hand climbing over the top of the shaft. And that's clattered in there. Needs a good break. Third to play, Philip Piercy. So my name is uh, Philip Piercy. I am a member of Orchard League Golf Club in Somerset, uh, Froome, and my handicap is a five. Um, enjoyed myself on the back nine more than the front nine. Um, didn't score too well on the front nine. Couldn't get the read of the greens correctly, um, but I picked it up on the back. Scored pretty well. Uh, finished strong. So the best part of my game was uh, driving and second shots. I, I knocked them quite close, I just didn't get the pace of the greens running pretty much all day today, uh, so that's what I struggled with the most. Uh, I birdied 18 uh, when I finished uh, and parred uh, both of the other two, so um, I'll probably stick with the same strategy. Um, iron off the first to safety and then try and knock it straight and put the pressure on everyone else. This is well matched because we got a seven handicapper, a three handicapper, Phillips off a of five and Danny Ludgate will play a four. And it's level for three holes. Before we find a champion iron. Maybe push it and find the rough. And finally, which it just has, but it's light. No problems. Danny Ludgate, 39 from Bloxwich Golf Club, handicapper four. Really good and uh, really enjoyed it. 
played last year, um, got the bug, wanted to come back and, and try again. Uh, just missed out last year to be fair, I, I bottled it, I was leading after 9, leading after 12 and then uh, sort of folded. Um, today I've, I've played really well, I mean off my handicap don't get many shots, um, but to come in basically with 35 points, uh, with I had a blob on there and two one-pointers, so to be fair I'm really chuffed. One was okay, 12 is the hole that I blobbed, um, so hopefully play that one a bit better. 18 I birded, so a uh, bit of a mixed bag, just hope, hope everything goes well and I can at least make par on 12. Par start is absolutely essential, birdie would be a dream start, Ludgate with an iron. Just easing himself into the impact area with the lower half. Didn't work for going straight. He's pushed it and he's found a fairway bunker. However, that's a very good lie. He can find the green from net. Consoling word to his caddy. You've always got to have a caddy on the Trilby Tour. That's the way it is. Player and caddy working in perfect harmony. Sometimes. Murphy's tee shot hooked. Compromised with the backswing, so three quarters back, punch it out, get it to run, and find the green. Up you come. This is the shot of the day. Settle down. It was far too good for this result. A little unfortunate. However, that's a good spot after his tee shot. Right hand rough for Piercy. As I said, not a long par four. People having problems with it though. That's another one that's not putting. So Piercy be reaching into the bag for one of his wedges. Now this is a great lie off an errant tee shot. Luggate got a tree to get it up over quickly. He can clip the ball first. He can find this putting surface up in the air. And that's going to grip short of the green. So he's there in two. There is now a wonderful opportunity for Simon Lowe. Hit the longest tee shot. Trying to fly this one all the way. Fly it all the way. Make it stick. Up on the bank on the left-hand side. That's a shocking second. And now that's very tricky from there. So, nobody taking advantage from tee to green. It's all about the short game at the first. Danny Ludgate. What can he produce from short of the green? He's produced something that's distinctly average. That's now through the back in three. Knowing nod to the caddy and a swallow as the nerves start to build. This has been a nervous opening hole. Piercy, opportunity to save par. Four is now looking very good here. Flop it up with his lofted wedge. Try and get it to spin and stop and that runs and releases away. There is no chance of that going in for a par four. So he's struggling. All these players are single finger ha handicappers by the way. Now down slope, lean on the left leg pitch with the slope this is very delicate almost a double hit stop 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 almost hit the flag that's the best of them that's the nearest in three so far we've got one more caddy delighted with that see she's playing a part she's making a man relaxed getting him to not think about the pressure of being a champion in the trilby tour from the back edge after the worst tee shot is one of the worst chips you've ever seen what a pity there's no point looking at the club. It wasn't the problem at that end. Par putting now for all four men from different distances, even from the rough. No chance of a wedge coming out there. This is well read from the right. Unlucky. Vicious pin position. That really is. Toby's been a bit of a minx where he's put that on a high point. Very difficult to lay a putt. Even the chip stone dead. Almost impossible. Piercy for the par at the first. Can somebody break through and make a four? Anybody? No. Can somebody make a five? Bogey five starting to look very good at hole number one in this playoff. Lowe's attempt for par. This is the best of them. And he's laid it up short. Hasn't given that a go. And to be honest, it's so hilly around the hole. He did want to knock it past. So now people are struggling to make five for the four. And that won't get there. So that's a guaranteed bogey five. 
And believe it or not, you wouldn't have thought so on the tee, that will be the best score recorded at the 381-yard par-4 first playoff hole. Nobody can beat five. But how many will make five? Luggate for the fifth. Yes, just about. That was very well read. Not an easy putt. Bogey five. Danny Luggate matching the bogey. I have four bogeys at the first, maybe. Piercy can knock this in for his five. It doesn't really matter. They're all going to be level. Whether they make four, three, or six, they're all exactly as they were. So all men making a mistake, including this tap-in for low. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, somebody call a referee. That did not touch the hole from a foot. That's a double bogey from nowhere for Simon Lowe. Let's get back to the panel. Thanks, Rob. Um, bit of trouble madness there on that hole. Well, you see those trees, they came into it, they didn't did they? Again, they did again. Now, this hole is not forgiving. You can't miss left and you can't miss right. You've got to be on the green or you're dead with them. Yeah. It's a pretty simple hole. You hit the middle of the green, it'll feed down to the right where the flag is. You say that, but it, we see a mess here every year on this hole. James Vos was... Just, it, it, it killed his game, didn't it, yeah. last year? He was, he was in the trouble on the right. Water, bunkers, everything down the right. You've got to go just to the left and get it to feed down. Now, you recovered on this hole last year, didn't you? You were, you were in trouble on the first hole, which we saw a little bit of trouble on there with those yeah, boys. Definitely, yeah. But this hole was good for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I think all you got to do is you've got to pick your club, commit to your shot, and like, like I said, just keep it just slightly left and everything will feed down. If you miss left or right, you are dead. Tell me what they're feeling right now, especially Simon Lowe, who, who, who missed a little tiddle there. What kind of pressure has he put himself uh, look, under? I say, I made double there last last, last year. We, all you got to do, if you make par here, you'll still win it going to the last. But par here will be a massive score for any player today. Back to you, Rob. Right, all to play for. Murphy, first of all. This is a tough, tough par three. Three here feels like a birdie. If you push it right, you're dead. There's a ditch and a tree. Right over there. That's just where you do not want to go. Oh, it's a heavy breath. Heavy of heart. Philip Piercy next. Nothing less than a full commit here will do. That line off the tee looks much better. Brilliant shot. Oh, shot of the day. Considering the pressure and what's at stake, that was wonderful. Danny Ludgate to reply. Something to aim at now. now this one's on an even tigerish line than the first one. Oh, straight at it. What a shot that is from Danny Ludgate. Well, those two were top draw. Only one shot behind despite being two over at the first, Simon Lowe. But he's putting. Oh, and he's tried to trundle it around the corner and get it to turn left to right. This is ridiculous. That is the luckiest shot we've seen all day. That really is. Look where that's finished. If he knocks that in for a two, he's back in the ball game. And he knows it. Rascal. Now this is where you don't want to be. Right of the hedge, right of the ditch, right of the tree. So he's got to come over and under, if you like. Under the bow. No timber. That's the sound you don't want to hear. The clunk of the bow and the ball meeting. The ball going into the ditch. There is no shot from there. And that is why he is replaying the shot from here. So Murphy taking himself out of this final. Much lower shot this time. Now he played it pretty well to get it on the green. There or thereabouts anyway. That's an expensive tee shot. And he's paid heavily for it. Richard Murphy for the double bogey down the hill. Already plus one. That's tie dry now, believe it or not. So this has to go in simply. It has to go in. Oh, it's going to be six minimum. He's looking at a triple. And he's looking at a long bus journey home. Piercy. Wonderful tee shot to hit. Can he cap it off with a brilliant putt? It's quick. It's not that quick. Hurry, go! Well, when you get nervous with a putt, it, you leave them short. That's what happens. So work to be done to make his par and stay plus one. Danny Ludgate hit a wonderful tee shot. Lovely tee shot to hit. This is for the two. Oh, that's fantastic. Top draw, Danny Ludgate. Seizing the moment to get back to level par with a hole to play. Putting himself in the driving seat. 
Now this would be an amazing two. Simon Lowe trundled it around the water hazard to here and almost very little guilt. Almost zero guilt. It's a good part and he'll be two over and two back with one hole to play. Last hole being a really good par four. Piercy for the par. Remember the tee shot was excellent. The first part was short and the second part lips out the left hand side. And all of a sudden it's becoming the Danny Ludgate show. People making mistakes where they otherwise wouldn't. And that is the pressure of playing in a Trilby Tour playoff. It really is. Murphy done and dusted. Definitely now. That's a bunch of shots he's taken at the second playoff hole, the par three. I told you that hole was nasty and mean. This is this smashed people's scores up really, isn't it? It does. Poor Richard. Ah, uh, but if you get it in the middle. Your pick. Oh, no, your pick, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Was your pick. pick. <laughs> but it's a nasty hole. It is. No, I, mean, I mean, one guy had a bird, a bird there that's got him, I mean, he's put him right in the, in the frame. He's like a two shot. He's a two-shot lead now, but you brought a two-shot lead back last year, didn't you? I did, yes. You fought back with a two-shot right. lead, but this hole now, straightforward. It's all about position. Yeah. Get to the top of the bank, short of the bunker. This could throw you right, couldn't it? You know, it all slopes tension, little bit, of a little bit of a fade, and it, 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 we could be in the water, really, couldn't we? If you hit it long enough, that's why it's all about position. Okay. Just get to the top of that bank. What about if they're going to go for it? Some of these guys could be long enough, especially especially Mr. Lowe, could be well long enough. If they're long enough, they've got to take into into mind that bunker that sits the other side. Protects it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Out of sight, yeah. out of mind, yeah. and okay. catches lots of people. What's going through their minds on this hole now? Because they've got sh two shots to make up. Listen, the guys who are at two over par, they've got to go for it. Yeah. They have to go for it. They've got, got nothing to lose now. The leader, he's just got to knock it down the middle of six iron, pitch it on with wedge, two putts, and he goes on the champion. It sounds easy. It's that easy, Rob. That easy. Look at William. You'd think he played off two handicap. Nothing in the Trilby Tour is easy. Danny Ludgate in the driving seat. Iron off the tee at 18. Find the fairway. Looks good. It is good. It's not a long hole. Just over 320 yards. So it's placement or have a smash with the driver. Everyone having to go for it now. Run the gauntlet. There's bunkers down there and water down there. This is a powerful fade right into the water hazard. Simon Lowe with the driver. He's got some power. Oh, when you turn this over, there's trouble left. There's a hedge. Trouble. Oh, gosh, it's flown over that. That might be the end of Simon Lowe. Murphy plus six. Just playing to the gallery now. See, that's what I can do when I'm relaxed, you see? Smoke it down the middle with the driver. That's a beautiful tee shot. Look at that. Working its way down into the narrowest part of the fairway. This is a reload for Simon Lowe. Out of bounds with the tee shot. That's starting left, but this time cutting back. Staying in the air a long, long time. Steady, steady, steady. And that's down by the green. That would have been incredible if he could have done that the first time. There's nothing to aim at, though. You take, the, take it on with the driver. Have a rip at it. Well, Danny Ludgate, everybody has made it easy for him. Knock it on the green, two putts. It's as simple as that. He's clipped that very nicely. Bit of grip, please. Bit of spin, and he got the spin. Look at that. They're in two. Two putts. Nobody can touch him. That's a reassuring pat on his shoulder, his injured shoulder. Early reports that Philip Pearcey had found the Aguasingas incorrect. Tee shot pulled up just short, so lob it in for a two. Oh, it's a wonderful effort. The green runs away. It's difficult to get it close. He played it very nicely. Murphy's second after a good tee shot. This is just a little flick. Pitch it on the front and try and get it to stop. And flew it a little bit further than that. It's a well played shot, well clipped. And it, it's not going to be his day. Satisfaction from getting through to the last four, no doubt about that. And a spot in the World Championship. But not the victory, not the W he was looking for. Tricky from right of the green. 
three off the tee to the green side. That was for a par, believe it or not, after going out of bounds with his first tee shot. Fine effort. Plus six. Richard Murphy just finishing off in front of his caddy, his family, his friends, the good people of Worcestershire. That was very close. Just an inch away. So, par to finish for Richard Murphy. He can just stand and admire and watch. Piercy for the birdie. And you never know if he can post plus one. Go on. Unlucky. Good try. Gave it a chance. So he will finish two over par for the three holes of the playoff. So that's the target. For Danny Ludgate, it's quite simple. He can take a million from here and still be the champion. But do it in style. Make a three. It's not going to be a three. Being cagey. Being very cagey. He's going to enjoy his moment in a second. He'll get it. Low to finish off for the bogey. After going out of bounds. It'd be a very good bogey. And it is. Stylish in the end. With his third shot off the tee. Birdie with the second ball. Oh, and he's milking it now, isn't he, Danny Ludgate? He's milking it. Walking back to line up this putt from a foot. He knows. By now he knows. And now he definitely knows. He is the brand new 2019 Trilby Tour champion of Worcestershire. What a victory. Playing those last three holes, particularly the difficult second hole, the par three where he made it to in level par. Championship standard golf from a brand new champion on the Trilby Tour. There he is. Oh, I'm ecstatic. Um, really over the moon. Didn't expect it uh, today. Been hitting the ball well uh, the last couple of weeks back at my local course. But like you say, you come here, you've got different handicaps, a course that I haven't seen today. Um, so I'm, I'm really chuffed. I just wanted to keep it steady, play par golf. Um, and I'm, I'm well chuffed with a birdie on 12th um, in the second playoff hole because I uh, blobbed it this morning. Didn't trust my club selection. Um, so to hit a solid shot in there and then make two, and it was a two-shot swing, give me a cushion going down the last, I was made up. Well, calmness won again, didn't it? You know, when all around are losing their whatever it is, that famous poem, um, just keep it steady. Keep it steady once again. There was madness and mayhem everywhere. Guys going for greens that they shouldn't have done. Guys fatting shots and hit the greens. Putting was atrocious. What happens to these guys? They're good players to get here. And then the playoff starts and it's, it's all over the place. One guy seems to come through and win with just calm, steady par golf. Every single week virtually. And that's what happened. Calm, steady par golf. Three lads have left here today broken after playing so well to get there. One guy's ecstatic. That's the Trilby Tour for you. Shot of the day goes to this technically impossible miss by playoff contender Simon Lowe. Rarely have we heard Rob Lee confounded by the combined laws of golf, gravity and maths, but this one left him well and truly discombobulated. Well worth seeing one more time. But now some rather more explicable nonsense in Rogue's Gallery, where Jeremy Clark on the 12th teases with a shot that at first appears barely capable of making it to the fairway. Then looks like it could reach the rough, before finally almost crawling into the pond. Exemplary rogue. What we like about this approach shot from Craig Barry on the 14th is the Catherine Wheel effect he achieves when his ball hits the water. Rather spectacular. Craig blow up Blackford, blowing up even earlier than usual this week with a nifty grass cutter on 13. And a similar result on the 11th by Carl Slatter, but with even more pronounced post-shot despondent drooping shoulder work on display. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Three quick ways to mess up the 10th now. First, Barry Marsh demonstrates the tricky heel of the club short, hard left and into a bush technique. Then Ian Wright with the slightly simpler but no less effective long right and behind a hedge method before Gary Roberts cuts out the nonsense with the very direct, just smash it a few feet straight ahead routine. Still held his pose though, didn't he? Now this shot should be in black and white because immediately after John Mansell's overclubbed approach flies into this hedge, John delivers a perfect Oliver Hardy style exasperated look to camera. Another fine mess indeed. 
Now it's time to settle in and enjoy the extended director's cut of the second shot on the 11th by Jason Much. In this version, we get to fully revel in the endless wiggling, the unhelpful jiggling, the continued uncertainty, the repeated nervous practice shots, the indifferent disinterest of the caddy, and the eventual utter pointlessness of the entire endeavour, exactly as it was originally meant to be seen. Oscars all round and cue tumultuous applause. And we end with a drama in three acts as Rogue's regular Neil Haley attempts to start his round. First he tops his tee shot and blames his caddy. Next he hits his follow-up from the brow of the slope way out on the left into the out-of-bounds trees on the right as confirmed by our enthusiastic signer, William. Finally, he manages to use his par shot to reach the fairway at long, long last. Well, you're certainly off like a comet, Mr. Haley. We have reached the stage where there are now only three regional championships left of the 2019 Trilby Tour before we all head to Hull and the International Grand Final. Next week, it's the delightful surroundings of Killick Percy for the Championship of Yorkshire. In the meantime, if you'd like to be a future host of the Trilby Tour, please contact us via the website at www.trilbytour.com. We'll see you next week. William Hunt Savile Row, the perfect gentleman's playground in London, Manchester, Glasgow and Harrogate.